We're going to be tying a elk hair caddis with a few variations. Elk hair caddis is a great caddis imitation any place in the country. Originally popularized by Al Trough. Wonderful fly. I'm going to start with a TMC 100. Adjust your size according to the species that you're hoping to match. Just for today we're doing a size 12. We've got some 70 denier ultra thread. I'm going to lay down a nice base wrap all the way down the shank. Trim off my excess. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in a rib. Um, you know, we're tying a dry fly, so it makes sense that we're going to use something that floats. In this case, I'm using 5X PowerFlex tippet, something that probably most, most anglers have laying around someplace. So I'll tie that down the shank. As with all ribs, when you tie them in, give it a little tug. Make sure that that's going to work for you. Um, mine is secure in there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a grizzly hackle uh, off of this rooster saddle here. And again, you can change up your feather and your dubbing color and all that stuff um, in a manner to, to match your insects that you're trying to match. Hackle is tied in. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dub a body forward. This is a dark olive UV ice dub. Make a little noodle of that. So on, on these caddis, you, you want to taper your body a little bit. It'll be thinner towards the, the butt end uh, and a little bit wider towards the shoulder. Take that into consideration when you're applying your dubbing. Now that looks blue from here. <clears throat> I agree with you. It does look blue, but there is something with the process that when this gets into light that it actually is true to color. Um, bunch of wonderful material, reading material out there on UV products right now. Um, I don't know that much about the science of it. I do know that fish see better in UV than they do uh, regular colors. All I do know is that the flies that I seem to tie with UV materials tend to catch more fish. It's not, it's not scientific, but it's my observation. Uh, at this point in time, we're going to take our hackle forward. We're going to make about you know, four to six wraps, something along those lines of hackle. Add our flotation. couple secure wraps there. Go ahead and rib through with our mono. So the mono it does tend to be a little on the slippery side. Make sure that you make a few extra wraps just so that it doesn't slip out there. But a really durable rib. Pretty, pretty neat little thing. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wing out of dyed done compared done hair. It's got a nice fine hair. Um, the tips are real even. Uh, so that's part of the reasons why I like it. Um, and again, I, this, this fly more or less is, is being tied to, to match our Mother's Day caddis here uh, on the Mackenzie Lamet Systems. Um, so I like this gray wing. They have a nice kind of gray wing, but again, match, match your, your wing to the species that you're fishing. Clean out some of that under fur. Stack the wing. A few taps on the table ensures that. Grab the tips out. So this is another one of those pinch and measure type of situations. I want the tips to be even with the end of the dub body. So I'll kind of get that into position. And I'll make a, a wrap or two around the hair to kind of increase my, my thread strength so I can get a little bit better purchase on it. You can see that all flares out nice and tight. At this point in time, your wing may still want to rock back and forth a little bit, so we'll do reinforcing through the stub ends. So they take about a half dozen or so hairs at a time, maybe a little bit more, 10. And just wrap forward all the way through that. This is going to ensure that your wing doesn't rotate on you and that you're going to have a little bit more durable fly. I'm going to build up just a little bit of a uh, darker colored head there. At this point in time, I'm going to whip finish. Just clear all that material out of the way there. 
So now the last thing to do is to adjust the little head. This is going to add some flotation so you can make them as big or as little as you want. That looks about perfect to me. There you have a completed uh, UV ice dub caddis, Elcare caddis. One of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.